Hello, this is Penny Potter from Koran Talk Art and in this short little session we're going to look at how to join two slabs of clay. So you've got a project and it's going to need a bigger piece than you can roll out in one go. Maybe because you're using odds and ends of clay, maybe because quite simply you haven't got a big enough piece or you're not strong enough to do it all in all at once. Either way. So I've got these two pieces of clay. I would say before I go much further that in this clay, and I don't know if you can see, we've got lovely big air bubbles. When you find you've got that, very important to get your knife and go right through to the board. Like that, to pop them. Okay, that will get rid of them. So I've got these two very uneven lumps of clay that I want to put together. I'm just going to shape them up a little bit. So I'm going to take that rough edge off, make life a little simpler. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. Now, it's very important in this situation not to try putting them together like that. Uh, all that will happen is that later on they'll start to crack apart. You've got to be a little bit more firmer than that. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to score all the way along the edge that I'm going to join here. Like that. Then I'm going to turn this one over and again score all the way along this edge where I'm going to join it. And I'm going to get some slip. Now this slip's got a little dry, so I've just added some water to it. I don't know why we've got plastic in it. It's uh, interesting, but there we go. Uh, so I'm just going to try and work it up a little bit. We've had a few days without our classes and at the moment here in the UK, things are drying out very quickly. So let's get a little bit of liquid clay there. And I'm just going to brush it on one side. You don't really need to brush it on both. It'd be a bit of overkill and it can get a little bit too squidgy if you do that. Like that. Then I lay this one over the top like that. And then press it down all the way on that side. And once you've got that all worked in there, carefully pick it up, turn it over. And do the same on the other side. Then when you've done that, you can get your rolling pin and you can go back to rolling. Roll that joint out. Then, as I mentioned in an earlier video, if you turn, when you pick it up, pick it up very gently. Don't disturb it too much. You don't want it to start to warp during firing. Do the other side. And you see how that's starting to come out? Starting to be hidden. Turn it again. Work on the other side so you get rid of those cracks there. Now I am going to use this for a project shortly, so I am going to get my guide sticks now instead of rolling it out even. Again, I did a there's another video on how to roll out a slab, which explains about using these. So these are our standard thickness ones, which are about five millimeters bought from the local hardware store as, as a six foot length and then chopped up into pieces. So let's get the rolling pin on it again. Really put some pressure on it this time to try and get it even out. This clay is reasonably firm. If you find your clay is sticking to the rolling pin, then get yourself a cloth. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy, tea towel, something like that, to lay over the top. I'm trying to be careful because I've got a bit of a crack forming there. Let's do that. So turn it over again. Each time you turn it, be very gentle with it. Clay has a sort of molecular memory. And if you're rough with it during the making at this stage, it will remember and it will twist and warp during the firing. Let's just lift that. I'm just going to lift it very gently to make sure it's not stuck to the board. I'm going to cut that bit off because it's annoying me. Get rid of that. Okay, let's just check it again. So we know we're there if we hear the rolling pin on the boards. I know it's not, I can see it's rocking a bit, so get in there. Watch out for getting any bits stuck to your rolling pin. And leave holes in your clay. You just about hear that now rolling on the guide sticks. And there we go, two pieces of clay joined together. I hope that helps and I will catch up with you again later. Bye.